And welcome to episode 30 of K Refuses to Use a Starting Soon Screen Anymore. I am joined today by uh, my lovely friends, uh, Heather, uh, Transbian uh, Girl Queen, um, Drex, uh, Disabled Frenchman, uh, <laughs> Angel, and Tinwee. <laughs> <laughs> Twink master. Rip angel, I guess. Damn. <laughs> well, I was gonna make an old joke, but the, we always do those. So I'm kind of blanked. <laughs> Everybody else gets an epithet, and I'm just an angel. Hi. You can always say you had your epithet erased. <laughs> For 31 months of tier 2, what the fuck? That's a lot of months. It is. Yeah, um, that's, that's over two years. That's I, so many months. <laughs> just say self death. <laughs> not disabled, do not falsely advertise. <laughs> Thank you, Nomad, for 21 months. Dire Nomad has held no, Nomad, we're not summoning the, crow, summoning again. the crow again. Absolutely not. <laughs> Uh, oh, by the way, did everybody hear in the Age of Stars game? <laughs> Ricky, owes the, Ricky owes the crow a favor. Or made Cross a deal with the crow. I need to ask Ricky what happened, because... Mm. Oh boy, it was a session. Um. Long story short, they got diseased with god sickness. Anyway. <clears throat> <laughs> what? <laughs> Hey, Kay, when are we going to do a crossover session? Some point in the future that is not today. <clears throat> <laughs> so, last time on Age of Titans. What happened last time I care? Uh, uh, shit's fucked. You became a worm. I did become a worm. What, what happened with you guys? Uh, some Sahagan robbed us. And then, uh, this decided, hey, you know what? I would like to not be robbed anymore. Why don't I go plant some magic mouths in our cargo hold? Only to then get stood up by a Sahakin who got left behind. Biz then, um, I won't be an accurate word to say. <laughs> for what he did to that thing. Uh, thank you for 27 months, Drex, and I believe the accurate description would be absolutely destroyed that creature's windpipe with fucking claws. <laughs> yeah. Raisinified. Raisinified to Sahagin. And gave us a little foreshadowing into this is deal with Dimitri. Which surely won't cause any problems whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I got a ring of mind shielding. Oh, yeah, I did and that. also I, made Biz extremely cool. embarrassed on accident. <laughs> oh, this uh, it also plants um, some Rosaria gamer. Five subs. Thank you for five gift subs. Hey everybody, uh, go subscribe to Rosaria. What next time they stream? <laughs> Yo, Rosario's a really cool streamer and does a lot of variety games. In fact, I'll be streaming with them tomorrow for Baldur's Gate, possibly. Um, anyway. Oh, Hell yeah. Uh, yes. One second. So as the day, um, as the day begins, everyone is uh, going about their their usual activities aboard the ship. Um, you're getting everything ready. Um, <laughs> uh, you're getting everything ready and uh, just setting the, the ship up to to sail for another day. Um, as you all are going about your morning tasks, Rukar would probably spot it first, being in the crow's nest. 
as you see what looks to be a green fire um, erupt in a small point on the deck. Yeah. And it very quickly becomes noticeable. Thank you for five gift subs, Drex. What Dearest the fuck? You just gifted five subs. Uh, <laughs> you see this fire begin to spread in a pattern. Uh, that anyone who is arcanely inclined would recognize as a spell formula. Uh, could I use an arcana check to decipher what formula? You can. Alelum Anybody who is trained in arcana may. Subs. And thank you, Alelum, for five gift subs. What the fuck? <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, a 16. Uh, Biz, that is a teleportation circle. Oh. Why would someone be making a teleportation circle here? Is... Can I tell if something is trying to come through? Oh, absolutely. This is... act Like, as it finishes, uh, you see it flare into, into life. And a figure is beginning to appear as a familiar face materializes on the deck of the ship. Oh? Hello. Hi, it's been a while. Holy shit. You son of a bitch, you lied to me. <laughs> I lied right to your face. <laughs> I didn't, I thought it was Havoc who joined the call, so I didn't check and all of a sudden the <laughs> MS voice jump scared me. <laughs> um, Aveline steps out of the summoning circle. She's back, baby. Oh boy. Ready to cause chaos, I assume. Uh, I would say she's calmed down, but yes, 100% ready to cause chaos. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> this, this gives you a fist bump. <laughs> uh, Aveline goes in for a hug. Fuck that. Oh. Who's got green fire on my deck? Dad! <laughs> Aveline! What? Hi! Okay, uh, uh, when did you... Hold on, what? It's it's good to see you, but what? It's good to see you too! I... Well, um, so I was fighting some undead, you know, I... All the way over there and she just kind of points in a direction it's absolutely incorrect um and you know i got this letter from jane saying that you had been possessed and then now valco is possessed and you know I i'm think not I, I leave for two minutes and everything goes to shit so i better come back I'm not possessed, Aveline. I'm fine. What? You might not be actively possessed, but you're not fine. I... No, I'm... Uh, I made a deal, but I didn't get possessed. He was well, very specific. Can... Does anyone else hear the sword? Can, like, I forget if... You I specifically hear this one, Aveline? Why the fuck is it talking? It's talking. Why? It's yeah, we can't sentient. get rid of it yet. It's sentient? Okay. Well, I, I'm i glad to be back. I'm also concerned that there's no sun in the sky, and I think maybe we should fix that. Um. Just, we so happen to be on our way to attempt to do something about that. At least oh, investigate perfect. it. Well, yeah, so, I mean, what, what are we doing today, then? Continuing to travel towards the fallen sun, the phoenix in the water. Does any, do you guys know how it fell? Unfortunately, no. Not even Tin, we could answer that question. What about the Leviathan? Have we had any luck finding it? 
Not yet. Uh, we did find Croc. I would say Croc found us. Yeah. So. That would be more accurate. Good thing or a bad thing? A very bad thing. A bad thing. Um, uh, if you would take a look around the ship, you will see there are many more holes. Uh, yes, I was going to ask if you guys were doing some renovations, but the getting eaten by a giant crocodile sounds more accurate. Yeah, Aveline, uh, you look over the side of the ship and you see what you at first assume are like damage from spells or something, but you realize that they are actually giant teeth marks, each wider than your head. I'm very concerned about the state of this boat. Um, it's managing for now. Yes, we intend on hopefully getting it repaired and or replaced soon. Lovely. Well, it's actually in better condition than when Croc hit us. That is true. Somehow. What? Well, myself, Biz, and... Oh, you haven't met our new crew member, Avos, yet. Uh, no! Have... Uh... I imagine, since Rukar's not here, Avos is napping in the crow's nest. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, Volko points up to the crow's nest, just like, he's probably up there. Oh, lovely. Um, I missed you all. I missed you too, Evelyn. It's good to see you. Uh, she punches uh, Damon on the shoulder. Don't get possessed. Again. He'll he'll look contemplative for a moment, and then he'll just say, "I don't know if I can promise that." That's not. The Volko is staring <laughs> you down. <laughs> I'll try not to, but you know. I'm sorry about, um, about your husband. Oh. <sighs> yeah. It's, uh, I read yeah. the book you gave me. Yeah, I... I think I'd like to tell you a bit more about that person. I'd like that. Yeah, well, we'll get to that. And I... I did a lot of self-reflection that I hereby promise I am not going to immediately run out in the face of danger. I'm happy to hear that. I will wait six seconds and then run out in the there was I... going to be a, a small sigh from Volko, but he just holds it back after that second sentence. <laughs> I don't know why I was expecting more. Um, so, I mean, their breath would... just sort of mutter as, wait, why did six seconds specifically? <laughs> you have time to react. Six seconds is enough time to react, yes. I suppose so. Um... Yes. Time for a highly skilled person to attack Nine. <laughs> Very highly skilled. <laughs> I heard that. on I I heard that Biz and uh, Akko are getting married. Yes, they're engaged to be wed. Yes. Fidgeting with her hair. Do. Would they? You'll have to ask them. Biz? Yes? Would you happen to need someone to play some kind of instrument as you walk down the, uh, the aisle? I, I don't think we've planned that far ahead, but yes, we would. <laughs> and then can, I can do it. Absolutely. 
Dire Nomad just gifted Not for one free, subs. mind you, but I, I will do it. Of course, of course. Oh my god. Thank you for the gift. I, uh... If I I've started playing violin again. Huh? Uh, after you left, I started playing violin again. <gasps> you did? I've been playing it a bit more lately. I missed that. I did too. <laughs> Well, I suppose we should, uh, well, did we pick up anything cool? Any fun treasures? Let me look at the ship's inventory again. Uh, ah, there was this liar that we found, oh. uh, Sil liar. <laughs> You see that her lyre attached to her hip is... has been better. I think this might prove, uh... What is it called? It's called a, uh... A clee lyre. Clee lyre. A... it is a instrument of the bards. A wondrous item that requires attunement by a bard. How, how do you spell that? Hold on. It's in chat. Where is it in chat? In the Rule 20, 20 chat. Oh, okay. Oh, I should probably do join that again, huh? <laughs> yeah, probably. I'll post it in this chat. So long updating her character sheet, and I had to make sure that no one else was on there while I was on there. You had to be sneaky, huh? <laughs> I was a sneaky bitch. Okay. Clee liar. Stone ship, wall of fire, wind wall. An instrument of the bards is an exquisite example of its kind. Each? Superior. Each? I can... Hmm? I can catch each of these once a day? Stone shaped wall of fire and wind wall, yes. Oh boy. Also, fly invisibility, levitate, and protection from good and evil, because yes. all of them have that. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> you can use an action to uh, cast one of these spells. Um. Using your spell casting ability in save DC, and you can play the instrument while casting a spell that causes any of his targets to be charmed on a failed saving throw, thereby imposing a disadvantage on the save. So if you ever cast a charm, a spell that is meant to charm something, you may get disadvantage. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. This is great. Uh, I also need to talk to you later, Emma, because if you look to the very bottom of the screen, or of the map, you'll see that it is twice as big as it was before, because I built the um, quarters of the ship, and so I need to talk to you about what Aveline's room would look like, but that is something to do outside of session. Ah, okay. Um... <clears throat> Alrighty, and welcome Havoc. Hello, hi. Food. All good. So, you all uh, the, uh, disembark the ship once again, uh, taking the time to catch up with each other on your various adventures uh, uh, since you last saw each other. Um, after a couple hours of sailing, Vrukar and Damon, you're, neither of you are sure how this has snuck up on you, but you don't realize it until you are already embroiled. As you realize that there is a deep fog settled on the water. 
That's some sneaky fog. It's not like we could see much past the ship anyway. Yeah. But did you, by the way, did you tell Evelyn about the whole quack chase? Yes, we did. Ah, mm -hmm. what, did we act, what was the reaction to that? I was kind of absent for that, mentally. I was just looking around. Um, I just zoned out. She seems to be handling things well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The fog is about, rises about two feet above the ocean surface, roiling and tumbling as though it were the waves beneath it. A subtle glow emanates from this fog, and you cannot see where you have been before. The horizon is just fog. It's far, it's even far can see. That's good. Mm. Um, this is new. Yeah, um, you know, weather has been strange since the sun fell out of the sky. So, I'm not surprised to see it. I hope it's not anything too strange, but... The sun fell out of the sky. We ch we were chased down by a massive clock. We played cards with a deity of sorts. You played cards with a god. Yes, and <laughs> nothing bad happened. Was it a god? Was it a god? Or was it a deity? I don't. By know. technicality, the crow is not a god. Okay, it's, it's a weird like label. It's just entity. It's called it's called an entity. An annoyance. Why has Ben insisted nothing bad happened? What did they do? Oh no, that was not their fault. Uh, it just had very bad luck. And nearly... Ne nearly like, bad luck that nearly went to shit. What did they bet? Oh, it wasn't something that they bet. It wasn't something that they... Was it something they bet, or was it like just simply pulling a card? Oh no, I just simply won something that almost got bad. Yeah. What did you win? Uh, it's a card of, uh, something. I forget. The more you all try to remember, you have no idea what Biz on that pulled on that first card. Cool, okay, so they can lower. Cool. I don't know, I think it was like an Ace of Spades or something? I don't see why that would be a bad card, but alright. <sighs> uh, uh, maybe it was what I was drinking, but I... I can't the foggiest idea of remembering exactly what those cards were. So... Foggy! Two points at each. With this Aren't fog... A, amount of somethings? <laughs> with this fog, with how dense it is, is it really safe to be sailing through it? Or should we wait for it to pass? I don't think we have a choice. Volko, you yeah. feel a... All of your hair stands on end as you recognize the feeling before it happens. As you all hear the crack of lightning. However, it is not coming down from the sky. You see a horizontal bolt of lightning in the distance. Fine. Mm. Ahead of you. Is it violet? It is blue. Blue. Oh boy. Uh, nature check? Arcana check. Oh. Arcana check? I can do that. I'll 16. Do one of those. I just got a new expertise. In Ooh. 25. 23. <laughs> oh, no. No. no! Welcome no. back, Emma. <laughs> That's the worst. No. <laughs> it's still a ten, and you don't automatically fail. Oh, Emma. <laughs> Damon, Biss, and Akko, you hey, three—or that's Avos. 
Uh, yeah. You three recognize uh, that that is the spell Chain Lightning. Oh. Oh, I've seen that before. That's Chain Lightning. I have why is... Why, why is someone firing gold? Chain Lightning? Chaining what? I don't know. Or the chaining? It's lightning that chains. No, what the chaining? I couldn't see I don't the fog what it was aimed at. Another bolt cracks through the fog. And then another Wait, and another. Know, we know what it is. Could can we um either go the other way or stop? From the direction that the bolts are heading, several green arcs can be seen returning and bursting. Hmm. Well, something's clearly fighting up there. Uh, Arcana bosses. for what those green green lights were? Absolutely. Okay. Redemption. Oh, no one. Redemption. Oh, oh my kidding? god! No fucking Emma. way! Oh, fucking way! <laughs> Bullshit. Oh, no! Okay, okay, I have to know. I have to know. Roll again for me, Emma, please. <laughs> There's no way Roll20 gave you snake eyes after being <laughs> gone for so long. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh my god, though. Jesus Christ. Biz, and I'm going to give this to you, Biz and Aveline, those are acid arrows. Like the spell acid arrow. It's a ship. Are they arcane cannons? They must be. If they're firing in such succession, it would require otherwise it would require an extremely powerful spellcaster. Or which multiple would be worse. As the uh, ship drifts forward, the fog parts, and you can see a massive battle. Oh. Five ships surrounding one. Arcs of lightning. Arcs of fire. Bolts of ice. Explosions. Tearing through the ships. What? The ghost the ships. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Closer inspection reveals that each of these ships is pale blue and transparent. The oh, memory boy, of a battle long ago. Do the does the lightning and the arrows look like it also has that same ethereal blueness to it? Or do they look... Does that look like real magic at that moment? It looks like fired? real magic. This and... seems to be a like significant battle that happened a long time ago. Would Damon have any sort of clue what might this be? Make me a history check. Um, and Volko, you can literally feel the static in the air. This, these spells are very real. Jeez. Can I also make a history check on that? You may. Anybody that has been alive... <laughs> oh my god. Anybody that has Wait. been alive since the Cataclysm may make a history check. What if Damon told me a lot of shit about what was happening? Can I make a history check? This is something you would have had to have been around for. Mm. Actually... You know what? You can. Because of your background. I was gonna say, if you rolled another one. <laughs> Dude, what's in a one? Is you haven't been around. Oh, Three right. of us in a row rolled natural fours. What the fuck? Holy it's, shit. It's, it's, Dumb spooky, shits. it's the spooky session for sure. Got Jesus. some real weird luck going on. Well, good, good job, Aveline. Um... <laughs> 
you don't know what this battle is specifically, but the ship that is being surrounded by the other five, you recognize, or at least kind of recognize, the banner that's flying on it. You don't know? Like, it's on the tip of your tongue. You can't remember who they are, but you know that is the symbol of some royal family. Damon, 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 Damon. That that's that's a royal flag, right? That that one because it's it's got the blue and 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 the and and the crown and um. Oh. Specifically, this one would show a shark's tail on an ice blue field. It's it's the ah oh, I know because it's the shark on the field and. It looks familiar, but I can't. It's remember. the ro- it's it's the royal one. It's it's the it's the um. You've already said that. I it didn't make me remember. Um, I I feel like I don't. I know. know. I feel like we've been. It's we've either been there or you told me about them or I was in some book. Can I? Can that be enough to let like let Damon re-roll? <laughs> At least to figure out who the ship in the middle is. That would not be enough for Damon. No. Akko, however, you may make a history check to see if you recognize that. Come on, not a four. Yeah, not a four. A 17. Akko, uh, with that, you recognize that flag as belonging to a royal house that existed before the Cataclysm. They were murdered. That lived in the ocean. However, their line has been gone for several decades. Their kingdom disappeared beneath the waves. Did you say the Mered? No, the Mare. Like Mare, like Mare folk. Okay. So okay. regardless of the royal family that flag has, if this is just this may just be an echo of a battle, but that magic there is very real. We need to divert our ship or else one wrong one wrong chain lightning and I don't, I don't yeah. know how our ship's going to take it. Damon is going to uh try to like divert our course to go around it with a rather wide berth. Absolutely. Uh, Damon, you are easily able to uh, swing the ship around and you continue your journey. About an hour later. uh, It was a shark tail on a blue field. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's, that's Aqua talking. Um, Shark you... tail on a blue field. It's a silver border. <laughs> Why I say I say? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I say that's the Mare family, but they've been gone for far too long. Where? <laughs> that's where I'm going. That's slip. That's slip between British and Australian, and I'm not going to change any of it. <laughs> After about an hour sailing, uh, Damon, you see. A blue arc ahead of you, followed by a boom. Mm. Uh. Another one? And as you get closer, you see five ships surrounding one pitched battle. I don't... Have I ever heard of any sort of, like, superstition or, like, sea tales about... A phenomenon like this? You've heard of ghost ships being a thing before. Mm -hmm. Um, Aveline, you've definitely heard that uh, in recent days there have been more sightings of ghost ships on the ocean. Um, Though they've been usually more aggressive to whoever gets close. Hmm. I'm concerned. I... There's... They're usually more aggressive than they. I have an idea. Uh, if we go too far away from this scene, 
then we just end up looping right again, looping around again. I, I think we should weigh anchor and try to board these ships, or at least see if they are tangible. I, They're far I'm, too deep in the ocean for the anchor to be effective right now. Mm. I'm oh. reluctant as well. I don't. Does it look like the same inter like the same scene we just saw? Yes, actually, okay. um, as you uh, had approached again, and Velka, you take a look at this, you see that they are the exact same ships, but all damage that you saw that was done was gone and is being made. I feel like this is just a reef. It is what we just saw not too long ago. Um, Should we uh... get closer? Oh, whoops. As long uh, as we're not in its firing range, we can't risk the ship getting hit. I could swim over. They're not aiming at the water. Why isn't they firing off lightning bolts? We only see them firing the water, but that's probably because nothing really threatening came to them underwater. Exactly. They won't see me. I'll sneak. I'll just see what's going on. Rukar, can you go with her by the air? Uh, I'll give Rukar some dark vision. So, you can see. Alrighty. Uh, um, Aveline is gonna change into, like, an all-black pantsuit, I guess? Just so that she's a little more stealthy in the water. And go down to one of the giant holes and jump out of that instead of jumping off the deck of the ship. Alrighty. Um, Aveline, make me an acrobatics check real quick. I just uh, want to see how cool this is. Aveline leaves. Aveline's trying to be stealthy about this, right? Yes. Uh, before Aveline leaves, Damon will cast Enhance Ability on Aveline and give her... Uh, is it... Uh, Advantage on dex checks? Yeah, the dex one. Cast mm -hmm. race. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't take damage from falling 20 feet or less. Okay. Alright. Then I will do this at advantage. Alrighty. Yeah, Aveline, you perform a very clean uh, jump and dive into the water, um, making barely any splash. In fact, uh, below the fog, to everybody else, you basically just disappeared into the fog and Okay. Made no noise. I want to s swim to the middle ship mm -hmm. um, and see what's going on, and then I'd like to make the rounds, as it were. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, make me a stealth check. Okay. And and when she, and do you think we could like make a perception check to see if you can even spot Aveline to follow her from above, or sure, or she just. Okay. Yeah, make me make me a perception check. Alright, uh, it's just flat. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a nat, that's a nat one. Woof. See, no, it would technically be a disadvantage because of how far away Aveline is and all the darkness. Um, yeah, no, nat one. Um, yeah. You immediately lose Aveline in the in the cold, dark waters. Yeah, so we're probably not leaving the ship because you probably would have taken off if you could at least see her and follow her, but if she just disappeared, then it's like, I can't see shit. Uh, Aveline, you swim uh, up to these ships. Uh, as you're swimming by, you notice that there is... At first, you think that there is no sea life. Uh, however, after a second, uh, you see a slightly glowing creature. So this must be a ghost, then, if it's slightly glowing. Most likely. I'll make an arcana, <clears throat> or um, an investigation, if you want me to. Sure, yeah. Which one do you want, arcana or investigation? Investigation. Oof. You think it's probably a ghost? Or like a glowing jellyfish, maybe? Um, as you get closer, uh, and it gets closer to you, uh, you can see the ghostly outline of... A reef shark. 
as it is placidly swimming below the ship. A I, uh... spl oh, a splash can be heard above you. Um, you. You kind of feel the ripple in the water, and you see another glowing figure dropping into the water. Uh, is it like unconscious dropping? Yes, and the reef shark gonna... turns towards it. I'm gonna swim and grab it. <laughs> you and, go like sing the reef shark like no, wait because I have that like. Uh, ocean ability and so I'm just kind of communicating like wait hold on pause because <laughs> I can communicate simple ideas you go to grab this figure and your hand passes through who is it what is it it appears to be has uh, an held elf. Off the CPC for 20 months Thank you for is 20 it? months, Shaper. Um, it is a ghostly elf uh, in... Uh, you can see um, like a kind of a dark spot on his chest where it looks like he probably was hit by one of those spells. Ah. But your hand does pass through and the reef shark doesn't seem to notice that you were attempting to communicate with it as it I'm continues forward. Hmm? Evelyn's gonna do a silent prayer over the fallen elf and swim up so she could poke her head above the water and kind of see what's going on in the battle and try and touch the ship. Absolutely. As you swim up, you catch out of the corner of your eye as the shark does make contact with the ghost and begins eating. Poking your head above the water... Uh, you can see you are by one of the outlier ships. Um, okay. The spells are still firing, and while the middle ship is putting up a hell of a fight, um, all of its cannons roaring with magic, um, glowing brighter, as you can assume that they are literally overheating with how fast they are firing them, they are losing very much to the other ships as okay. large sections of it are being torn away. Can I touch the boat? Like, is it tangible? You go to touch the ship, and you find that you can touch it. Okay. <clears throat> is there a rope or something? Yes. Can I climb up it just to, like, I'm still being sneaky. And I don't think they'll notice me because they're too busy worried about the middle ship. But I just want to climb up and, like, you know how in The Little Mermaid she kind of climbs up and sits in one of the, like, mm -hmm. the boats and she can look through and see what's going on? Yeah. Um, yeah. That's kind of the vibe we're going for right here. Except more espionage, less falling in love with Done. Ghost Done. Soup. Dun, 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 Absolutely, dun. yeah, you managed, with that 19, you managed to uh, crawl your way uh, into, there's like a lifeboat on the side that uh, you were hiding in. Uh, you can see uh, a motley assortment of people on the deck of the, the ship that you are on, um, from uh, elves and humans to uh, bugbears, uh, gnolls, very, it's an assortment as diverse a group of humanoids as you've ever seen in one place um okay. all uh working to uh, continue firing uh at the other ship not only are there cannons going but uh arrows spells um slings everything but the kitchen sink they're throwing at this middle ship with uh, the captain uh silently cheering in the mot well chart like not sure, like, yelling at them to all keep going. Um, Does it... Now that I'm in the middle of it, is it a little bit more familiar? Can I, like, kind of guess, like, why they're firing on the middle ship? Or not really? Yeah, um, you can... As you're, you're observing these guys, this is definitely no organized navy. These guys aren't wearing uniforms or anything like this, or any, anything like that. They're either mercenaries, 
or pirates. Do I see a flag? Or a crest or literally anything on any of these people that would give me some kind of clue as to who they are? Uh, you do not uh, see any particular crest or symbol on them. Thank you for the self-care ruse, everyone. On a shrimp and hydrate. Is there a Jolly Roger? You don't see any kind of identifying symbol on them um, like that. Uh, they have just, uh, in fact, they. It, it looks like they had one of like a flag similar to the middle ships, but it's like kind of halfway pulled down. And on close inspection, you can see it's like and painted. <laughs> so they were faking it. Yep. Okay. So this is some kind of, like, this was a whole trap for the people in the middle. Presumably, yes. Okay, um, I'm gonna get back down into the water and try and go to the middle ship and, because I'm, I'm assuming there's no way to save them, but... I want to check in the middle ship and then I want to head back to our ship and give an update about what's going on. Absolutely. Uh, you're able to slip back into the water easily enough. Uh, about halfway to the middle ship, you would feel a massive vibration in the water. And you can see that the beam, the kind of spine of the ship, as it were, of the middle one, cracks. And it begins to split in half. <laughs> I, I'm going to peek my head up. I'm going to see what else is going on. But at that point, it's a lost cause. And I should probably start swimming. Absolutely. Back. You see one more thing as you poke your head up. See an old wizard standing. Well, presumably from the weird hat and the robes. Uh, standing on the deck of the middle ship. She is casting a spell on a treasure chest, a very large treasure chest next to her, and it begins to glow with magic. I... Evelyn struggles for a minute, because that is 100% a thing that she'd be like, and now I have to get this treasure chest, obviously. But she just gave Damon this whole speech about how he has six seconds to react to any of the stupid shit she's gonna do. Um, so she's gonna swim back to the ship and grab Biz. There so was. That they should go get the treasure chest. There was more stuff before you do that. Oh, okay. Uh, the wizard uh, casts this spell on the chest and it begins to glow with a golden aura. As the ship sinks, you see that the chest falls, kind of with a bubble around it, down into the water. And looking down in the direction that falls, you see a cave mouth. As you look back up to begin heading back, scene sets see the five ships surround the middle ship right I am gonna swim as fast as possible back to our ship and um, poke my head up and give some sort of signal for uh, Rukar to come grab me out of the water I got the other one for that check for that because she's still under the, under the fog yeah, are you making, like, a physical symbol, uh, signal, or are you, like, making noise? I think my hands come up out of the fog and are, like, mm. waving. Yeah, Biz, make me a perception check. <laughs> okay. Wait, Biz and me. Or Rukar, sorry. I looked over at my OBS and saw Biz. <laughs> yeah, is it still at disadvantage of the fog, or no? It wasn't disadvantage because of the fog, it was disadvantage because it's dark. I mean, I do have that cube of dark vision, but but it's only 60 feet. It is only 60 feet. 
Yeah. Do I have to do, I have to, do, I have to do it here? But at this point, I'm, like, right up. Uh, ships okay. are very tall out of the water. Yeah. Uh, so, still disadvantage or is it just normal? This would still be disadvantage. Okay, just making sure. Alrighty, let's see what happens. Four yeah, three. you can see her. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, hold on. And he flies down and just positions his feet right below the fog just for her, just for having to grab, like, basically grab onto his talons like they're handlebars. Evelyn grabs onto his talons and is, remains silent. Okay, and then he flies back up to the ship and places her on the, on the deck. I know what we need to do. Oh. And that is? Uh, well, Biz is going to like this immensely. There's a treasure chest. I'm in. <laughs> what did you see, Evelyn? So, um, there was this elf that was hit in the chest, and then he fell in the water and was eaten by a shark. So then I was like, fuck that, and I went to the nearest ship, and I climbed up and I sat in one of the lifeboats to kind of figure out what was going on. It was a it was a trap set. Um, oh, oops. Uh, it was a trap set by um, one of the uh, oh, what's it called? the their pirates or mercenaries? They they painted their flag to look like um. To look like the the royal fa the Mur people's flag, and then and then I went back in the water, and there was a wizard that was um <coughs> zoom tight. that was uh, placing a spell on this chest, and the chest glue glowed golden and sunk into this cave system below the ship. And I think if we're all quiet. And we hurry. We we could get into those caves and catch the chest. Okay. Yes. Oh God. <laughs> what? Is this the thing that Damon knows about? <laughs> Wait, what thing? Oh, okay. So this wasn't. I I don't know what thing you mean when you mean the what Damon knows about. Uh, so you can DM them if you don't want us to hear it. Uh, uh, basically, Damon uh went for a really big like stash of treasure. I don't know if you remember that at like the end of his backstory. Uh, this is this... not that. This is not that. Okay. I was like, uh, hold up. That is a different as... stash of treasure. As Athlean ex is explaining all this, can I start virtually casting water breathing? Sure, absolutely. All right. Sylvia, not every ship has warp drive. Your ship doesn't even have a warp drive. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> You're throwing rocks in a glass spaceship there, my guy. My gal. Doesn't seem very safe. Can be arranged. I did give you guys blueprints for a warp drive. It will just cost a couple million credits anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, Biz is uh, ritually casting a water breathe. Uh, I think today is a Damon adventure since Adeline just got back. So ah. Ava's gonna stay on the ship. Got it. Right. Sleeping, in the, cr sleeping <laughs> in the crow sleeping in the crow's nest. <laughs> He's gonna wake up after we're all done and be like, What happened? He's gonna wake up while everyone's gone off the ship. <laughs> just like I mean I mean I mean Ooh, they, they left out, a maybe. movie. <laughs> I mean if, if you found it out, Avos was the, Avos was with us for the dungeon crawling and Damon BS for this adventure. Damon is not right. nearly as strong as Avos is, though. <laughs> Thank you for suggesting okay. a monster, Sylvia. Feel free to DM me. I've Pretty got... Good. That's okay, I'll protect him. 
I've got so I've got so many new fun little spells and trinkets to play with. You guys are gonna be you're fucking you're gonna love it. Marrying a dragon has its parts. Oh I get, I get that. Interesting. I there are perks to being a pretty biologist. What? You can trust there me. Are... There are perks to being a marine biologist. You can trust me. I'm a whale biologist. You can, you can trust me. I'm a. So I was talking to Kay earlier, and I was like, <clears throat> I, if I had a nickel for every time one of my characters ended up like a dragon, I would have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Yo, I have two nickels too. Let's go. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time one of my characters was possessed by Black Racer, I'd have two nickels. <laughs> if, I had, if I had a nickel for every time K almost killed my character, it'd be two nickels. I'd be the one, could the one cut the other one actually died. We all just have two nickels from varying situations. <laughs> <laughs> what CR are they dealing with right now? So they are level 12 characters. Um... So, uh, Gabagool. 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 Uh, apologies, I'm trying to do something. So, there we go. Sylvia has redeemed something. Oh boy. I see it brought back to suggest the monster. You're dead. Oh, that's suggest a quest. I would like to suggest a quest. <laughs> if I had a nickel every time a person I deeply trusted made a deal with the devil, I'd be very confused and worried as to why I have a second nickel. <laughs> Rex! Oh my god. <laughs> Drex just fun. Akko just finds a second nickel on like his nightstand or something. Like, why do I have this? Whoa, I think that's this nickel is also a soul coin. Didn't Biz make a deal with the crow or something? Oh, with, with honey, no. With, with none of us in and none know, of about, know that. about it. Yeah, yeah. nobody no knows about it. That's very important. People, people are kind of like sus about it because. Uh, Falco, Rukar, and Akko know, know that something's fucky up with Biz, and that he apparently has a patron of some kind. But Biz is kind of cagey about it, and seems real uncomfortable, so... We, we just, basically, well, Biz, Biz basically just made it sound like, hey, I had, like, a bad thing happen, and I don't want to talk about it. That's really all we... Falco is sus because you're acting weird. Yeah, because, because, yeah, because the two because are not of, connected. Because out of all people to bring it up, it was Garvan, the god of capitalism. That's true. Hey, who's to say blackmail isn't a part of capitalism? I mean, who is to say I'm lying out of my ass? <laughs> oh, oh, Sylvia, Sylvia, I already have a better version than that. <laughs> Alright, should we dive in? You seem very excited about this. I am very- I am always excited about treasure. <laughs> Aveline is gonna go up and, like, grab Biz's arm and just- Oh. So, we're 100% getting the treasure chest, right? Yes. There's- yeah, it's happening. Huh, yep. Okay. Perfect. I just wanted to check in. Um, you're not gonna hide anything from the treasure chest from me, are you? Why would I do that? You're my friend. Why would I hide something from you? This. And she's yes, gonna Emily. look at you and just... I think you and I both know the answer to that question, and it's a little insulting that you would, uh... Test my intelligence in such a way. Glad to see that you've that you've grown up. I'll pat you on the head. 
I can manage my own money now. Actually, that's not true. Uh, <laughs> Taldor says that I probably shouldn't just order random things on his account, and that I should speak to our financial advisors. Um, oh, by the way, I'm going to need a silver fat water bathing potion and it's going to walk backwards <laughs> into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Volko is going to exchange a look with Damon and just be like, I feel like we're going to have to keep a sharp eye on those two. If I'm you're coming with that it if you're coming with that is. Of course I am. Aveline dives into the water after this. <laughs> we shouldn't let them get too far ahead. Oh, uh something I want to ask Kay. Yes. Uh, I took it the winged boots for Biz purely because while it's not a swim speed, but it does let you go up, would I be able to go up in the ocean, assuming, you know, the normal difficult terrain because it's not a swim speed? I will allow that, yes. Cool. Alrighty, and we are going to take a short break here before we enter the dungeon. The dungeon. Yay, dungeon. Dungeon get... crawl. I need to go get some food. <laughs> so everyone, we're gonna take uh, we're gonna take ten. We'll be back at uh, about six fifteen Eastern time, um, and we will begin a mighty dungeon crawl. Woo. That's not my story. My attention is like the the passageway to the dungeon, like actually, like deep down, or is it like another situation, like the last one, which is a teleportation stroke, or it just beams up towards it. Like, how do we get there? How do we get to the dungeon? I think they've stepped away. <laughs> we'll find out after this commercial break. Okay. Because either way, like, unless, like, in, you actually need to dive down, Ricard's probably gonna fly from above in the general direction of the ship. Because that's... He's assuming that... I'm assuming that's where we're going. Well, I have no idea. I don't know either. Well, I, I know, we'll I know get that, there when we get there. <laughs> yeah. Shame I wasn't here earlier, because I would love to see... I would love to see an Aveline's reaction to just Ricard being a lot beefier than he was when she left. Oh, true. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. I can't believe Damon's playing that violin. That makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play my extended violin. Da, 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 da. Don't let me play my violin for you. Falco's got to play did, his some more, too. Did Did I get you guys? I really wanted to, like, surprise. You jump scared me, yes. When because I was in, expecting- I thought you were going to play like the villain of the session or something. That too. <laughs> I also thought you were Havoc, because I didn't look at the voice chat of who joined. So when it was not Havoc's voice, <laughs> I, I was like double take. I'm like, who, who is this? Oh, oh, oh. So I like Jane, us. but I really missed Aveline. I'm glad she's back. Least, yeah, I love Jane, and she's still somewhere on the ship being a little fucking baby, but uh, she can make dinner now, and Aveline can do as Aveline does, and cause chaos, and make the deals with the devils so that you no, 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 no. Not again. Absolutely not. not. not Absolutely not. Also, that comment that Damon made about not promising to get possessed again, I swear to God. Listen, yeah. he won't voluntarily let himself be possessed, but, you know, some things possess people involuntarily. He things can't guarantee just anything. Things can just happen. <laughs> not, not all things possess and you ask for consent. Yeah. That's fair. Uh-huh, uh-huh, Mr. Demon. I was like, Volko probably only has so many attempts of being able to pull a possessed being out of you. Well, good luck. <laughs> oh boy, I wonder what awaits us in this potentially spooky themed dungeon. Ghosts, perhaps. Or ghouls, or goblins. Actually, we're in it, we're not goblins. Or spooky, scary skeletons. 
Maybe. Skeleton. There's another void section of exploding the dungeon. <laughs> Drex, just... Drex, I just said we can't blow up the dungeon. The we party's just... in it. We just, we just, uh, we just arrive and we just see a lot of familiar zombie dwarves. It's like, fuck, we're back here. Oh, this again. Okay, I got this. And just, just punches the wall as it causes a cave in on them. Doug the Undying. Isn't he dead though? You never know. Yeah, fair. I'm holding a sack full of cats. Oh my gosh. Nice. Cat does not like the sack. Rip. Oh, yeah, I need to have a conversation with Abilene at some point. By the way, Emma. Oh, okay. I think you. I think you'll enjoy it. What? What is this conversation? Uh, we'll get to it. Can we have the conversation today? Uh, I don't know how long this dungeon's gonna take, so I can't promise anything. We're just gonna talk through the dungeon. It'll be great. It'll be fun. <laughs> it. It's not a conversation Volko's gonna have in front of a group of people. We're not a group of people. We're family. Family. <laughs> family. <laughs> family. I get that. However. <laughs> can, we, can you tell me what this conversation's about? Because otherwise I'm going to obsess over this. And I <laughs> Family. Uh, I'll, I'll DM you. Oh, yeah. One thing I, I, I think I, I... The one thing I forgot... Uh, one thing I forgot to mention after the card game with the with the uh, storyteller. So while the while the while the events were hazy, Rukar, Rukar walked away with a divine intervention as a reward. Ooh. So he oh yeah. Dashed away. I forgot he still has that. Yeah, that's dashed away for a rainy day. He also had uh, Evo sewing him a favor, but he used that immediately. Which was kind of funny. Oh yeah, what did what did I use the favor to say I don't need? The, Ivy said I don't need the favor, or this the favor is like here, take this back, and he just gave him back his lucky rock. I remember the lucky rock belong. I think the lucky the lucky rock belonged to the new uh, Avers, right? The lucky stone. Was it that? Uh. Yeah, I think you did give it back to Avos. Yeah, I did. I did give it back. Because I remember yeah. I I remember I won it and then I said, There you go, I don't need it. <laughs> this lucky rock. Yeah. I think it's very funny how they made a lucky rock just an official magic item. I it's like that. Of luck. It's very funny. I'm gonna get some food over here. Okay, dope. Oh yeah, this means that at some point we're going to need to like bring Avrin aside somewhere to uh, ex with like everyone else besides Valko to explain the situation that Valko's kind of in right now. Oh, sorry, I'm back. Uh, apparently we won we won a Keurig machine in a raffle, and I was trying to figure out how to make that work. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Right, so I got some coffee with milk and honey. Nice. Hmm. Uh oh. Akka, what are you rolling for? Akka, what are you rolling for? Akka. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> Hello. 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 So, what, so, uh, dear DM, uh, while we, well, I'm done for time because Avalyn had, had to step away to get food as well, uh, 
what is the like what is the where is the entrance to this dungeon? Is it underwater or is it oh, like it thing is. like the last one? Very okay, much so underwater. I... Okay, yeah, so we got Probably. a twin. Okay. Mm-hmm. You can't just fly from above this time like you went down on it. Couple hundred feet down. Oh boy. This isn't gonna be stressful for some of the party members at all. Definitely not the claustrophobic I mean, one or the one that has fear of not being it, able to see the ocean surface. I mean, I think it's not as claustrophobic as being crammed in a tiny corner of a ca of a cavern. It's certainly Rick not hard. good because you can't actually fly underwater even with the water breathing thing. Rick Hart, it's a dungeon. Uh, chances are it's not going to be spacious. <laughs> Well, if the last one is spacious enough that he can at least fly and he'll be fine. It's just when it's closed <laughs> in enough that he can't really move his arms. He just gets... It's like that one corridor that they crawled through when they were trying to face down Damon in the, uh, Dwarven, in the uh, Dwarven Mountain. That one... Pretty much kicked... That, that one... Very claustrophobic. The other dungeon, while it was... Cramped? It wasn't... It, while it could be seen as cramped, it was nowhere near as cramped. Think he could still move his arms and still be mobile enough. So, so long as he's able to be mobile enough, he'll be relatively fine. Now, but diving and swimming in the water is going to be weird for him, even with the water breathing thing, because he's meant to fly, not to dive. Oh boy, pitch black darkness. I direct you, bottom half of the map. Okay. Okay. There you are. Oh, joy. Quit moving around. Hold on. This isn't going to work. I'm moving. Okay. Oh, Blackjack. Blackjack. We enter this dungeon, but it just turns out to be the same room we played Blackjack in, and we're playing Blackjack again. I'm back in the fucking building! <laughs> <laughs> Hit me. Hit me. Gets, gets punched in the face by, by Amos. <laughs> I might have forgotten to set up all of the dynamic lighting stuff. Why would you get punched in the face by Avos? I just said hit me, because we're in a room where Blackjack happened. Ah. I mean, you're welcome to try. Nah. Okay. Okay, you can come back now. Yay. Gotta go all the way down to the bottom of the map again. I'm guessing that kind of rickety pier is like ruined and underwater too. Yep. Oh boy. You are completely it's... swimming at the moment. Oh boy. If you look at Rukar's face, you're not you're not seeing like the claustrophobic fit, like the claust like the fear of closed spaces that were like back in that in the uh, dwarven mountain. Now, you're seeing very uncomfortable Vukar, because he's not built for swimming this deep. Balko is just looking straight ahead. <laughs> not looking around at all. Evelyn is 100% distracted. <laughs> so, okay, quick question. Yes. That I know I've asked before. Uh, if my speed is half, does it go up or down? Down goes down. Okay. Thank you. Because I do not have a swim speed. I do not have one either, so mine is half as well, I assume. With my Leviathan stagger, I do have a swim speed. Let's I, go. Like, Congratulations. Oh, yeah, I do too. With my race, I have a swim speed, but I will stay with the group. Okay. Because I know better. Okay. You've grown as a, as a person. So to speak. Okay, so... Uh, what, what's the stat block on the Leviathan Dagger? Because I forgot I have one, too. Um... 
Leviathan's Grim Dagger. Uh, it's a plus two dagger. Interesting. Um, right. It does an extra 1d4 cold damage. The Leviathan's Rib Dagger is a plus two dagger that gives you a 20 foot swim speed and 20 minutes of underwater breathing. It also deals an extra 1d4 cold damage. That's funny. That's my current my movement speed right now is twenty. Is that yeah, speed and another thing? It's Boop. a swim speed in what? Boop. Oh, there's speed. twenty. Yeah, my my current speed in this like at this depth because it's high because I don't got a swim speed is twenty five. Wait, what is this? Speed? Wait. How does this work? Because I have a land and flight speed. What does this mean for... It it, have, have... If you do not have a swim speed, it is half your walking speed. Okay, so 25 speed overall. Got it. So I have five more feet than Valko. Aren't we special? That's a lot. That's a lot of swim speed, though. Considering your regular movement speed. Yeah, yeah how is like Akko the big cat doing underwater? 15 feet of fat. <laughs> <laughs> so as you all swim under the water you can see as the uh, illusion comes to an end blowing chest fall down into the mouth of this cave as you follow it you uh, find yourself in a kind of an entrance way with four paths ahead of you. Two in the middle, one to the left, and one to the right by this ruin. Here's that at one point, this area was above water. What if we split up and each went down a path? That doesn't seem like a good around, idea. And then we turn around, we meet up, and each of us says what we saw in the in the tunnel. I don't think completely splitting up is a good idea. I don't no, think no, no. so. We pair up so that no one is completely alone. I suppose that might be all right. I'll go with Falco. Um, right. Because I know that Falco will keep me out of trouble. I'll go with Ankar <laughs> then, I guess. I will go right. with. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, let me, let me just and then if them. none of us find anything in our tunnels, then we know that it has to be the last tunnel. Wait, are there more than one tunnel? Or did you, the there one are four tunnels. Me? Oh, four tunnels. Gotcha. Thank you. So oh, there's there one is. here. This main one. one there's here. one over. There's one over here. Yeah, and then there's one over here, right? Yep. yep. Oh, thank you for uh, opening this little bit. And then there's the one over here, I assume. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Trex, which one do you want us to take? I defer to you. Already, uh, Akko and Biz are heading off to the left tunnel. Um, Falco, because you are better at, um, keeping people alive, which tunnel do you want to go in? Let's take the far one down there. Right. Off to the right near those docks. This one? Uh, no, no, the one. The, uh, the one. this one. The farther one. All the way on the right. Oh! Cool. That one. <laughs> uh, which way, Captain? Alright, we'll go this way. Okay. okay. I say. Oh, sorry. Bye -bye. I think we each walk for uh, 15 minutes and then we come back and we tell each other what we found. 
Sounds good. Shit. Hmm. Oh god, my roll 20 is lagging. It do be chugging. Perfect timing, huh? It is huh? chugging. Don't you though, you never split the party. Alrighty, so starting over on the left, <laughs> you guys have found my favorite room immediately. Yay! So as <laughs> you two uh, head into this tunnel, you find that it comes to a door. A uh, old wooden door. Hmm. A uh, point of order, uh, AT is is uh, on my back. Got it. Boop. Sweet. Uh. Uh, can I make a carpenter's check on the door? Sure. What are you trying to figure out about it? Uh, has it been used recently? Uh, is it, like, locked? Is it, like, firm shut? Or is it just, like, you can push it open and no one's been there? Absolutely, yeah. Make me that check. Sweet. I make this with a plus 13. Why is everyone rolling sub 10 today? Holy shit. <laughs> um, with a 15... This door is old and degrading. Um, its planks seem to be held together by the will of some eldritch god, because it should probably have fallen apart by now. Um, however, it does look like it has seen recent use. The hinges are, while they are rusted, um, the actual mechanism of it, uh, the rust is kind of broken off. Um, as though uh, it has been opened and closed recently. Uh, it is definitely not locked, though, as you look down and see that the handle is just gone. It's probably All been, right. like, taken by some enterprising fish years ago. It must have been a very bold fish if it's on land. Uh, I guess... Well, you are still underwater. Oh, right. I've the map. <laughs> you are... Yeah, I am using this a map that is technically meant for something else, um, but you are completely mm. submerged in water right now. Okay. Uh, can I just, just push it open? Absolutely. Um, if I swim against it, does it give... Oh, absolutely. Um, hey, question. What languages do you guys speak? Oh, fun. Uh, no, these two specifically. Uh, primordial Undercommon? Oh, cool. Both of you understand this. Um, then uh, as uh, you, the door opens and you see a group of three fishmen sitting at a table and you just hear one of them say, Our fish in Undercommon. <laughs> And um, playing the game completely incorrectly, he then uh, picks up three cards from the deck and throws one of them on the ground next to him. <laughs> it just sort of floats back up because it's cards. Yep. <laughs> Wait, did he say go no fish? Yeah, he said go fish. <laughs> no, 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 you're playing wrong. When you go fish, you're supposed to bring back a fish. But we are fish. You can't go bring back another of us. I could bring back a lecture card. Not to worry. Uh, I brought this and it holds AT in the palm of my hands. But ah uh, ah uh, uh, not, not for eating just yet. We still have to prepare it. All three of them <laughs> look up at you, point, and just... <laughs> What? I don't think we the disc I don't I don't think Discord picked it up, OBS picked it up. Uh they let out a gurgling scream. Um oh? and then uh they all rush away uh going through this other door. <laughs> oh shit. Follow them. Actually wait, is that a dagger? Uh it it is a piece of rust at this point. Oh. Uh, Ignore environmental items, as I did not build this map. 
Okay, yeah, follow the phone. Uh, how are you going through this door? Quit moving through shit before I reveal it, Drex. Uh, well, they just barged right through it, so... Why don't we just follow suit? Alrighty. You, uh, barge through the door again, and you see that, like, they'd, like, stopped and were like, Barge through the door, now and told us what to do with these people here. Yeah. We- oh. Oh, I want to use that spell so much, but I can't because it'll hurt us all. <laughs> Roll initiative, you two. <laughs> all right, sweet. Oh, boy. <laughs> Immediately. I love Tua Toa so much. They are so stupid. <laughs> I love that you guessed it immediately. Yeah, these are Kua Toa. <laughs> Biz, you get the drop on them as they're pointing and screaming at you. Okay. It's like, oh, fellas, fellas, don't worry. Uh, and I'm just going to try to swim up to them. And can I blow them away with a thunder wave? Um, if I remember correctly, thunder damage has a specific thing in this. Um, oh, oh wait, actually, oh wait, actually, not. I have. I forgot that I have shatter. I will instead throw a shatter right in the middle of them. <laughs> I also forget what the thunder rules of Roger Water were. Uh, thunder and lightning damage affects all creatures within the full range of the spell. Uh, mm-hmm. so, te- no, technically, yeah, Shatter, Shatter, it, by these rules, is not changed. Um, everybody else, you hear a massive explosion. Um, yeah, roll Shatter. Uh, I can't be this, The spell in my book is not working. I will replace it with something else. Hold on. Uh, you're gonna splatter these poor fishmen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 18 con save from top to bottom. They all fail. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, oh none of them are dead, although the guy at the bottom is really not looking good. He, he uh, But all of them are definitely bloodied from that. But the bottom guy was like on his last legs. Okay. Uh, AT, shoot this guy. Uh, and we'll point at that one. And AT will do a little bonus action attack. I Absolutely. always forget that AT has this. Absolutely. Force strike. Yeah, it would be hard to keep track of uh, for, like Shout more out. than one token, isn't it? A 12 to hit. Uh, doesn't hit, actually. Um, he, this, this bottom one, uh, is able to pull, like, a scrapwork shield off his back just in time, uh, to block the attack. Lock it down. Anything else on your turn? Uh, no, that's it. Akko! Uh, you could, you know, we could have parlayed with them. They were playing cards and not seen much of a menace, you know. They ran off the minute that we showed up. Also, we don't know what's down here. Could be more of them. Drex, what would you like to do on your turn? Oh, fine, fine. Why well, I say, I say, boy. I say, I say, boy. You were, you were hitting the top one, Drex. This, this to the town lab, boy. I said, th- th- you know, we got a pile of them, boy. Like, like, what you want to talk to your son? They playing cards or not, sir? Yeah, Keep seventeen hits. Yeah. 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 Oh my god, yeah, no, you fire off this radiant bolt, and this fish man just dies in kind of an explosion of, like, fish guts. That's a lot of damage. Uh, 
It is. Damn, can you believe that Akko gets like five of those a day for free? Oh. Uh, sorry, which one did you ping? The bottom one? Oh, that one? Uh, yeah, 22 definitely hits. Oh, boy. Mm. Hey, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> that one's dead, too. <laughs> oh, wait, do these guys not have souls? Oh! That's right, thank you. Um, as you <laughs> kill that first one, um... Or no, no, because you didn't kill it. Akko no, wait, that was Akko. Never yeah. <laughs> but yes, the second one does die, Akko. Anything else on your turn? Nope, nope already. Uh, this last one what? <clears throat> is going to scream mm -hmm. and swim away. <laughs> Wait, goddamn right he is. Biz. <laughs> uh, I do not like it when my prey runs away. Uh, I vote oh. to dash. Oh, 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 that's not Biz saying that. That's me, Heather, saying that. I don't like it when shit runs away from me. Fair. Oh, okay. God. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, so I'd have 40 feet if I dash. Because of the dagger. See the fish man. Okay. Uh, 80. Shoot him again. A 14 does hit, and right. this one dies. It's a weird, gooey, fishy soul rises out of it and is sucked into your palm, Biz. You can add another count on your uh, tally. I was about to ask, like, Sweet. does that work if AT was the one that killed it? Yes. A AT okay. is mine. Okay, gotcha. Making sure. Alrighty, and initiative is dropped. We did are Aku, now. Did Akko see the soul? Or Akko too no. far back? Oh, cool, perfect. Oh! Perfect, the mystery is still hidden. No one can see when you harvest a soul. Ah, oh, sweet. Ah, oh, interesting. Or wait, did I have it like that before? I forget. Uh, well, no one saw it before. Okay. They just saw the desiccated husk it left behind. So yes, only only you can see when you harvest a soul. We just see the body as a. I'm pretty, sure I, I'm pretty sure I stipulated that in my contract. Alrighty, and with that, we are going to move mm. to Damon and Drew Ooh, gotta move on over. Where are we? There we are. You all begin heading up this tunnel. Okay. Hold on, Captain. Captain, where are you going? <laughs> That's not a path up there, Bucko. <laughs> Captain, you can't clip through the wall. I got wall hikes on, don't worry. <laughs> As. Fuck off. <laughs> As you get to that corner, you see to your right is another path. To the left, you can see the beginnings of a pitched battle. As you see some gross-looking fishmen and some Sahagin into fight. Do they appear to be ghostly? or They do not. They are very physical. So is the blood that is uh, pouring into the water. Should we, uh... Should we go to that, or should we go down the other path first? Um, Damon will look the other way. Uh... Well... Uh, down the other way. Do 
you see more paths. Hmm. Hmm. Well, uh, let's go this way first, to the right here. Uh, okay, alright. Let's just lead them to that, that's their business. Yeah, well, well if there's anything left over, we'll, we'll go back to that. Yes. Well, as you begin moving that way, you hear some voices coming from down this path. Which path? Uh, the path you guys are going down. Okay. As you hear Balco and Aveline talking. Oh. As you guys begin your walk up. Uh, it's, it connects. Oh. Oh. Hello. Well. Hello. Um. Certainly didn't expect this, although now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have. That makes sense, all of these connect. Yes. Do you two want to go try and find Biz and Akko? I heard some screaming earlier. Yes, did you hear that explosion? I found me, Biz. Yes. Listen, we, we can keep exploring this tunnel if you want to check on them and make sure, you know, they're not going to collapse the entire cave system. Holy shit, what's going on over there? <laughs> Well, considering we're underwater, I doubt it would be anything so extreme, but sure. I'll catch up with you in just a minute. I have a, I have a question for uh, Valko, so. Okay, well, I guess this we're going really... this way, Rukar. Valko looks a little nervous on hearing that. She gives this really okay. weird thumbs up uh, to Damon. And it's oh, damn, the most makes... awkward thing you've ever seen. Ah, oh, damn, they're making quick work over there. As you uh, return, you see that two of the fishmen and one of the Sahagan is dead. Um, and the last four are fighting fiercely with each other. Uh, let's just go around them. Yeah. None of our business, you're just swimming behind. Unless they try to attack us, I see no reason to intervene. Alright, uh, which way from here? Uh, I think we keep going this direction. Okay. Absolutely, and with a bit more walking, we'll uh, find Biz and Akko. Ah. Ah, you too. Hey, Wade. I hope you're okay. Thumbs up. Doing good. Uh, was that explosion caused by you two? No, it's just me. Knew it. Oh. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, may I ask why? Uh, ran into some... Wait, do I know these are Kuatoa? Um... Make me a history check to see if you've ever encountered them before. Alright, sweet. Uh, nat 20. Oh my yeah, God. you know you know exactly what these are. Uh, yeah. uh just some Kuatoa. Ah, well... Uh... They're playing Go Fish. Badly. Well, we should probably uh, we should probably continue. Okay, well we'll leave you to that. We'll find our own path. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, hey Akko, we should head over here. Well, I guess we're going. Oh this wow, way. they really oh wow they really cleared up. That is a dead end. Okay. <laughs> I guess uh, we'll just go down this lane. Yeah. Um. Damon and Drukar, when you get back, you find that the remaining t uh, the remaining four creatures are all gone. Oh, yes, no, like no corpse, no nothing. They're just gone. Yep, they are just gone. Yeah. Well, that's that's well, foreboding. If it's a problem, I'm sure we will find out what it is soon enough. 
Alrighty. And Tin um, or Volko and Aveline. Um, Sorry, uh, hmm. Angel and Havoc, you guys kind of passed through the enc that, that encounter faster than I thought you would. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I didn't want to interrupt them. They were already doing well on their own. They were so busy. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. I have a question. He looks a little slight. Like, there's slight anxiousness in his eyes, but he asks, "What is it?" I guess it's not a question. More of a thank you. It's going to sound bad, but I, I thank you for saving Damon. And I'm sorry I wasn't here for it. Are you okay? First of all, there's no reason to apologize for your absence. Second of all, I'm fine. I... <clears throat> uh, I did what I needed to do. I wanted to save Damon. And so does that's he... what I did. Does, does the sword talk to you? Mm, yes. <laughs> oh. Can you tell it to shut up? It's not like it listens. I listen. It's important. Oh, Do wait, I hear that? The... Can you ever bring a mind shield in from Biz? Correct. Yeah. Black Razor can hear uh. when you physically talk. Wait, uh. it can still talk to you, even if you have it on? It no, so... it is talking to Avalon. Oh. It, 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 it is talking to everyone. everybody around Valko. It now has no sense of privacy. It has to make itself known to the entire party. Or anyone in, anyone so, around them? so, just so I know, then, then that means Black Razor is talking out loud, and Volko can also hear it, or can he not hear that anymore? Um, in general, Black Razor is just talking out loud. In a okay. general, like it's like a general psychic communication that you can choose to hear or not hear because of the ring. Um, but it cannot speak directly to you. Okay. I'll just work under the assumption that if you're saying that I can, that he's talking, then I can hear him, I think, right? Okay. Yeah, and in order yeah. to speak to Black Razor, you have to speak out loud. Okay. Uh, unless I choose to open that connection. Because I can do that with the ring. Anyway, understood. Why'd you do it, though? Why would you take on the sword like that? I mean... We weren't about to lo like, I, he like pauses for a second. Uh, I mean, I wasn't about to let our captain just disappear like that. True. Well, thank you. Um. <laughs> I, uh, I might not have been here, but I was still fighting off in the great wherever, so it wasn't much of a honeymoon. Uh, probably could have been back here with you guys, which I guess is why I feel so guilty. You spent most of your time fighting. I did. He's not a um, sit and chill kind of guy. He didn't come off that way. Honestly, most of your relaxing time would have been having tea with oh, self of its name. Um, uh, Lao Tzu, the dragon. Lao Tzu is also uh, funny. Well, I don't think they mean to be. I think they just come off that way. I see. But yes, we were fighting undead for most of the time. It's odd. I, I, uh, I always thought love was going to be much grander than this, but it turns out I don't think that's what I meant for in this lifetime anyway. What do you mean? I made a choice. I don't regret it. 
I enjoy his company. It's an important position. I went from being a bastard princess to an empress who saved my kingdom, but... <sighs> There's not exactly love there. I see. Do you think you won't fall in love then? Is that what you're getting at? I think I will, but I think I made a decision and... Maybe love is overrated. I'm sorry for obsessing over it uh, last time we talked. That's all right. It seemed important to you at the time. Very What's... important. <laughs> What's your take on all of it? I don't think I ever stopped to ask. My take on what? Love. <laughs> It's a promise and a commitment. That's really all I have to say about it. Have you ever been in love? I am in love. You are in love? Mm-hmm. With I'm who? My boyfriend, Ren. Oh. I don't think you've ever told me his name before. But yes, I'm in love with him. Is it possible to feel love for more than one person, do you think? Of course. You answered so confidently, why? Mm. Much like Tinwe's heart, mine has the capacity to love more than one person at the same time. How did you know? I've fallen in love with multiple people at the same time. Oh, we're supposed to be exploring this dungeon. Why are we talking about this right now? Well, I... Sorry. Uh, no, that I. <laughs> he looks. He looks a little like. Like he he realizes he he snapped. And he's like, I'm sorry. Why and are let's... you so defensive? I don't know how to answer that. If it would make you feel more comfortable, we can stand in silence and look at the walls around us. I don't think anything about being in this dungeon would make me comfortable. As you say that, Falco, I don't yeah. like turned back looking at Aveline. <laughs> Turn back to look at the cavern ahead of you and you realize just how true that statement is as you come across a grisly scene oh boy see what? a group of sahagan that are feasting on rather animalistically dead fishmen and a huge undead shark oh as well I was wondering why you were not revealing the map when I was trying to go up. Because mm. oh. <laughs> oh. I have to tell you about this. That's fair. That's fair. Open. Aveline. I'm going to scream for Damon. Not because I am unconfident in your, your and my ability to handle this. But Back because up. I think we might need help. Back up. Slowly. Quietly. Don't scream yet. I- yep, yeah, mm-hmm. I think- And Volko should... starts backing up as well. Aveline is gonna come all the way back here. And then just- Make me stealth Let's checks. The... Let's get the others. Oh, stealth checks. Stealth checks? You can do that. So 16. Do I still have my advantage? Uh, is it within an hour? Has yes. it been longer than an hour? I'll say it's it hasn't been longer than an hour yet. You guys have only just gotten in this dungeon. Yeah, you got it then. Not that you need it. 
Alrighty. Back up and you don't appear to alert any of them. They're continuing. Dying Let's in go. the cavern room. Let's go find the others. Alright. <laughs> as they're as they're walking, Aveline's kinda quiet for a second and then she's Forgive me, I'm really sorry. I really wish I had grown as a person, but I do have to ask you at least like one question. I just just one. And then I will shut up about the topic forever, and I will never speak of it again. Speak of it again, ever. Promise. Unless you bring it up, and then of course we'll talk about it. Because like you brought it up. Um, sorry, I'm rambling. Um, <laughs> he like gives this look of like, uh huh, sure. <laughs> but waits for your question. You actively took on one of the most dangerous and weirdest and honestly creepiest. Sorry. Uh pieces of magic. And I, I, I get loyalty and all that, but the reason I would do it for Damon is because I love him. Never mind, it's a stupid question. I'm just gonna keep walking. And then she turns around and walks away. Just, just ask the question! What? <laughs> He's following <laughs> after you. I just... Just ask. No. Like, do you like him? Do you like... Well, I mean, like... Sorry, I'm not 12. Do you... Fan... Nope, that's also stupid. And I... Do you... Do you have feelings of... Some... Kind... Of... Towards... My da Dad? I don't know. What do you mean? I don't know. That's my answer. But how... You're in charge of your own feelings. How do you not... know? You know? It's complicated? That's true. What complicated? Sorry, what did you say? What- what complicates it? I... don't know. I... sorry. Is it because you'll have to leave this realm eventually? I... I don't think I can keep talking about this right now. Fair enough. Do you think we're far enough away that I can scream? I... Did, I suppose. Dad! You know, you didn't need to scream. Sound travels faster in water. We were oh, right here. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Biz and Akko, you hear a... Muffled because it's in a, at a distance. Just... Dad! <laughs> oh no. Why is here? Are you okay? There is something eating a bunch of things, and it's really scary, and Valko and I absolutely could have handled it on our own, except I promise that you get six seconds to react before I do anything stupid, and I feel like I would be breaking that promise if I didn't come get you. Uh, Seems like it would be safer to tackle it as a group. You say you saw a horde of things. Uh, did it look like this, and he picked up one of the corks of the fishmen, or this, and picked up the cork of the, Sah of the Sahagin? There was so uh, much red, it was hard to tell, honestly. Yeah. Also, uh, I was a little bit absorbed in talking about things, and I- Valko saw it better than I did. Uh, how many of them were there? A lot. Oh, boy. Several. Uh... In so preparation. Shall we, shall we take care of them then? Sure. Yeah. Sweet. In preparation Please. for this night, I'm gonna use a feature. I don't think I've I I think I've used a total of once. Uh defensive field. As a as a bonus action, you can give yourself temp HP equal to your artificer level. 
Alrighty. That's why uh, Aveline's sprinting off. She gave you guys the six seconds. She's done. Aveline. We're not even sprinting. We're, we're, I mean, I guess you're a water. I gave class. you six seconds. Alright, fine then. What is your swim speed, by the way? Me? Yeah, you. Thirty. I have a. <laughs> my swim speed is the same as my walking because I'm a CL. Oh, you're faster so, than everyone else. <laughs> as the four of you get about there. And Rukar and Damon, uh, you guys probably get about there. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Nope. It's fine. Oh, hi. Uh, uh I... You see, hold on, go back. You see that the scene has changed as another group of the fishmen uh, seem to have uh, come upon uh, all of these Sahagin and this great undead shark and were summarily ripped to shreds, or being feasted upon. Can I roll initiative? Absolutely. Everybody roll initiative. We gonna need a bigger boat. Oh my god. Like <laughs> oh, fuck. I go first. No. <laughs> I go before the shark. Fun. <laughs> Do you guys, like, uh, game change, by the way? Hey, Falco, uh, you're, you're resistant to lightning, right? No. <laughs> no, but I have a stupid idea that can involve lightning. <laughs> can, you find, can you find a way to be, be that on my turn? Uh, Falco, you, if you can get out of Aveline's, just don't be directly in front of her. If that's possible. Oh boy, okay, sure. <laughs> Either that Let's or all the stuff in front of you. I just, I have spells that emanate out, like, in a, like, a whatever the fuck. Okay. Uh, before anything, uh, DM question about yeah. underwater combat, because you have rules for melee, you have rules for some melee weapons and some long range weapons. And you say at the end that creature with the natural twin speed did not have the natural weapon affected by any judgment. What does that mean when I have only natural weapons? Like, when I fight with fists. Those are melee weapons. Oh, those are melee weapons, okay. When you show that. Okay, so there's a melee disadvantage, got it? Yep. As well. Unless you have a natural swim speed, <clears throat> or you have a swim I... speed from an item. I do not. So, if you have a swim speed, yeah. Um. Alrighty, Valko, you are first. They are all feasting. Okay, uh, I'm gonna move here, and I'm going to attack the big shark with my quarter staff. Don't you do? Uh, you don't have swim speed, so that'd be a disadvantage. Oh yeah, that's sorry. You literally just said that. 22? Uh, yeah, so 22 <laughs> does hit. Cool. 15 bludgeoning. I would like to try to stunning strike this fellow. Uh, absolutely. Uh, that is a con thing. Is it boy. That's a 24. Good lord. Uh, uh <laughs> no, 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 um, silvery barbs. I don't remind me what that does again. Uh, <laughs> I um magically distract the there creature and you have to re-roll um and take the lowest. Alrighty. Wait, no, you don't have to take the lowest. Um wait. Thirteen. Yeah, yes. no, you have to use the lower roll. Thirteen, it fails. Yes, it and does then fail. I am going to give Fuck. Who's literally right about to do a melee attack? Me. Are you gonna do another one? Yeah, I have like three and, more. And you have advantage. Oh, sweet. I'm banning that spell next campaign. <laughs> you should. It's, it's so way good. too strong. Fight me. For the first level spell, I'm banning that shit. Fight even for, me. Even, even for second level, it's pretty strong. So, it would this be at, would this attack be at normal or advantage? Because normal. normal? Okay. Advantage Shame. and disadvantage cancels out. Yeah. So another slap with the quarter staff. That's another fifteen, and then I'm going to flurry of blows as well. 
Absolutely. Now you only get advantage on that one attack, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, um... it's the very next thing. That... Mm hmm. Go ahead. Your attack. Uh, it'll still be at normal because it is stunned. Um, oh, yeah. That gives me advantage. <laughs> that was more what I was asking if I had advantage, but uh, I will continue to roll. I don't think I can give you double advantage. I'm guessing the 11. The 11 okay. misses. Yeah, okay. Another 13. Absolutely. Um, that will be my turn. It's stunned. Have fun. It can't deck save. Aveline. Aveline um, steps forward and there's this like glow in her eyes. And um, she touches her own arm and uh, little like scales kind of pop up on her forehead uh, as she casts Dragon's Breath on herself. Um, at the, at the fourth level. Okay, and what type of damage are you giving yourself? Oh, boy. Um, methinks I'm gonna do light. I will remind you how lightning mm. damage works underwater. Anything in its path, I remember. No, anything within its range. So if you have a 15-foot cone, then that is a 15-foot sphere around you that everything will take that damage. And if you were to step for some reason cast a lightning bolt, it would hit all the way out to here in a radius. Question. Yes? Would it also hurt me? Yes. Okay, then I'm taking cold. Because okay. I'm not what we would call an idiot. Um, so cold damage. Cold damage okay. flourishes underwater, dealing an extra die of damage. Ooh. And I also have my orb. Da -da -da. Okay. Um, so I'm going to cast that, and then doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to step up here so that Tinweed, not Tinweed, Valko doesn't get hit. Um, and that was a bonus action. So, let's see. 3d6, and then I cast it, upcast it by 2, so that's 5d6. And then he has to make a dex saving throw. And, um, my orb. Fuck. <laughs> Um, my, the focus, the dragon touched focus, um, whenever, uh, that I roll a, a d6 and I gain a bonus equal to the number rolled. Okay. So, that's 6d, 7d6 that I need to roll. Okay. And where are you breathing out this, this cold... Uh, directly onto the, um, the shark. Alrighty. It automatically fails its deck save because of the stunned. Okay, cool. So 7d6. Okay, so there's 5 and 7. Um, those are 1. That's gross. That um, is really bad rolls <laughs> on that damage. Holy shit. Can I... Fuck. Uh, I don't have anything to help with that. Don't you get an extra die of damage? That is with the extra die of damage. I got you. Oof. Can I roll this physically? Because that's bullshit. Mm. Okay. No, because I don't have... You don't have to give an explanation. It's just Roll 20's been fucking all of us over today. And so. Sometimes the luck of the dice shouldn't be that. Sometimes mm. you roll three ones in a row and it's, you know, it happens. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's still 17 cold damage. 
Damage is damage. Oh boy, the talking to his neck. Mm. Anything else on your turn? Uh, no, that's it. Alrighty. Oh boy. Uh, the Sahagan are all going to look up from their feasts and start uh, roaring and charging at you guys. What mm. is their speed? Oh, 40. Disgusting. Alright, let's go. Oh no. Bring it on. That's a oh lot of them. That's a lot of them. That's like all of them. Cool. Let's yeah, do like, it. <laughs> none of us can really get through. Let's tango, buddy. Oh my god. Oh no. Wow, oh, what shit. kind of. Oh, there they uh, Meanwhile, the other. the one. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, let's go. Get, Bring it on, buddy. If you can get out of. <laughs> no way. I can do an AOE. I just need you to not be I mean, close. So these are going to be four at advantage against Aveline. Actually, no, eight at advantage against Aveline. Oh Hello? Because they have yeah, multi-attack. Multi oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this is... Welcome back. I hope you have, like, shield or something up. Please don't die. Oh, there's a seven. That's... Fine. Oh, and no, your AC is 15, so that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hits. No, wait, that was more than that. 1, 2, oh, 3, that. 4, <laughs> 5, 6, 7 hits. Oh my god. <laughs> you could take the damage, right? No. That's mm. not that bad. That's not that bad. Uh, the 9 kind of sucks, but... 13, 22... You know 32 what? total points of piercing and slashing damage to Aveline. You know what? I will make one of them... You know, no, that's not worth it. I will do it. Um, yeah, okay. That's how many points? 32? 32. Ugh. Two attacks, or uh, four attacks at advantage against Volko. 60. Oh, cool, five. Does the um, 17 hit you? 17 is... does not hit. Just the just Dragon's the twenty. Con Does not. Con Alrighty, so that is two hits. Um, Ten damage, and then these two are at normal. Wait, why did? Hold up. Did the spear do two different types of damage? Hmm. Oh, I. Only the twenty hit. I don't know if that. Oh, you what said about the advantage. nineteen. Okay. Sorry, never mind. Yes, I was just reading the numbers on the left. My bad. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, and then a 21 and a 16. 21 will hit. So that is a total of 13 slashing damage. These two are going to throw spears at you. Mm. Oh, God. It's a 19 hit. Uh, yes. However, I'd like to use my reaction to try to yeah. deflect missiles. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we have that. that. Uh, it deals <laughs> two damage, so yes, you can. <laughs> Excellent. Um, hey, Kay? Yes? I forgot I have something. Okay. Jax, you're good. I don't need to woe it. I'm not it's taking not... damage. I got this thing where I got to take spells from another class, and I took Hellish Rebuke. Um, it deals fire damage, doesn't it? Yeah. Fire damage doesn't do anything underwater. Uh, Kay, was the were those attacks at Akko or me? Those were at Volko. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, on that one spear, I'm gonna use deflect missiles, and then I do want to. He has been a key point for that. I want to throw it back at him. Absolutely. Make the monk throw attack. I don't have a monk throw option. Actually, I can use a dart, I guess. To well, no, it. it has like a specific damage roll. Does it? Hold yes. On. I've never actually used this. I, I used. I think I used it it's, once at the start. Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, damn it! It's a D twenty plus your dexterity plus your proficiency. Yeah, so I can just roll my dart as the spear. Anyway, uh, I uh, can use your monk weapon for the spear. That, that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh. Um, 
That's oh, a 19 okay. to throw it back at. Oh, yeah, yeah no, sorry. Is. That's what I meant when I said throw a dart was I meant I have the formula right here instead of okay. having to write it out. I'm sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Yeah, 19 hits. I, I say sentences that only make sense to me. What's a spear's damage? Uh, it is 1d8. Spears, monk weapons. Uh, they're simple weapons, so yes. technically yes. Okay, I'm just gonna roll the damage on the dart. That's nine piercing damage. Yeah, but that's two d two d six, not a. My, uh, am I able to use my like monk damage with it then? Because it's a if it counts as a monk weapon. It counts as a monk weapon, but that doesn't use your martial arts die. No, it does. They do, yes. Yeah, monk weapons do. Huh, okay. Yeah, if the martial arts die is higher, you use that instead. Oh. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. Sylvia. Uh, but yeah, no, that hits. Um, stabs right into right into his uh, right into his body, fleshy bits. Excellent. Uh, and then uh, these two at normal or four at normal against Biz. Okay. <clears throat> Sylvia. I have or I have homebrew rules for this campaign. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, homebrew rules. There's a whole list of them. And one of them is that fire just does not work. It just fiddles to zero. Uh, do any of those hit you, Biz? They're not at advantage. Uh, no. None of those are even close. Cool. You're fine. <laughs> That's what I thought. Alrighty. Akko, it is your turn. Oh boy! <laughs> oh, that's cool. How do you do that? Uh, that is with the um, like the beta version of the uh, UI for Roll Twenty. Uh oh. Yeah, uh -oh. Drex. Uh oh. I'm afraid. Is a cone of cold 90 degrees or 60? It... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, all cones are always 60. For a cone attack. Yes. What Angel said. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Big geometric shape. Big shape. Oh, oh god. I love I... watching it move around. Well, you, you can't exactly hit the ones that are like throwing that side because you're behind a wall. Correct. Oh, you guys really put yourself in the worst position. It's not like we want I want to wanna... stop. I want to use some big effective AOEs, but I can't with a friendly fire. I would have loved to get to the other side of the shark, but I have a very slow movement speed right yeah. now. And I got to. Yeah, and depending on where we, depending on how this, this the the turn go, um, I can't I can't really move into battle because uh, <laughs> everyone is in front of me. That's what I wanted when I saw these boys start to pack up. I mean, you could always just hit your allies. It is an option. You can hit me. I don't care. I, I think other people care though. Ninety eight. Um, I can take it. I I worry about Aveline. Mm. The scariest thing in this in this session so far is not the zombie fish, it's the AoE from friendly fire. It's the other players. What's your question, Drex? What's your question, soldier? I don't think absorb elements is good enough for 9d8. <laughs> If you pass the save and you get absorb elements, you take a fourth of the damage, so... Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. What are the rules on icy, difficult terrain <laughs> underwater? You know? Um... Oh, no. Well, it doesn't say the Cone of Cold uh, freezes the area. It's... No, I'm pretty sure it does. A uh, blast of cold air erupts uh, from your hands. Each creature in a 60-foot cone must make a con save. 
taking 88 cold damage on a failed save, or half as much on a successful one. A creature killed by this spell becomes a frozen statue until it thaws. I bet it's another spell, Jack says. Yeah, Cone of... I, I had it pulled up. Cone of Cold does not create an icy surface. Oh, that, that does! Oh. Um, so... Okay. Huh. We are underwater. We are underwater. We would all freeze to death. So, I would say that it turns the entire area into cold, difficult terrain as the water gets... Slushy. Mmm. So we're basically going through mm. snow. It's not that thick, but uh, the water would start to get cold, and um, it would make it difficult to rain. Yes. You don't. You do not tomb of Levistus yourself. As funny as it would be, this is not the Dark Souls of D and D. It would be funny. So, what do you like to do? Yep. <laughs> point, oh point, point me to where you're putting that there, Drex. <laughs> Got it. So that is saves from those three Sahagan and that giant undead shark. Con save, con save, con save. All right, the one to hide is fine. Um, the shark fails. It's, it's a con save. Oh, oh right. wait. Okay. Uh, which one saves? Uh, the third Sahagan. No. Uh, reroll, please. All right. Nat 20 again, it'd be funny. Um, and then I am going... Fails. I'm gonna give Damon... Oh, you're not within 30 feet of me. That's unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm giving Valco advantage. Um, on their next saving throw, or tech, or whatever the fuck. Whatever d20 roll you make next, you have advantage on. So these three Sahaga die. <laughs> And, yep, so that is 49 cold damage to the shark. Nice! Look Wolf. at that health bar plummet. <laughs> go, Catboy, go. Cool, no more flanking for that one to hogging. Anything else in your turn, Biz? <laughs> or, Akko? Fuck. <laughs> Husband number two. Husband number two. <laughs> Oh my! Oh oh oh! oh what is what is that? What what this square? The red makes that ominous. <laughs> uh, just plan just planning my turn. Don't worry about it's it. It's even worse when you realize the red is biz. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Volko, move if you please. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Velko, move if you please. <laughs> That's exactly what he sounds like. Legit. Valko needs, you gotta like, skamooch, buddy, otherwise you're gonna get blasted. I have 20 feet of movement, give me a break. <laughs> There's my guy, Valko, my buddy, my good pal of the south. I need you to scooch on a little bit over there so I can get to blasting. Listen, because if you're gonna get to the start, <laughs> I can get these motherfuckers, but you gotta move. <laughs> I gotta get to my turn to move. Everybody chill out. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, is... what the fuck are you Everybody doing? Everybody else, uh -huh. Velko move, biz, shatter. <laughs> Y'all say uh... boo? Oh. Are you actually trying to get around me, Drax? Velko can't boo until it's his yeah, turn, my guy. I die. know. I know, yeah, tell no that, I'm telling that I'm writing Drax about that. And plus, Valko is in a bad position to move anywhere because he's still faced with Dumpster Hoggins and the shark. It'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. The biz is probably about to blow everything up. It's fine. And Man, I can't believe y'all blowing all your stuff on the early encounters. Oh, cool. early I've done encounters. nothing. I've done nothing either. I'm I did a here. singular stunning strike. I'm like... talking about two of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just back here because I can't. I couldn't really move forward because I got lower. Oh. 
I'm shaking this undead lord DM in my head. Look, I just want to know what, the, what you want to do on the rest of your your turn, my guy. I, I need to hear from you, buddy. Or else I'm going to give Akko even more outrageous accents. Yuck. 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 Oh, wait, <laughs> Gorge, I'm going to oh. do it again. <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, oh wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll fucking do it again. I'll fucking do it again. <laughs> yeah, that 22 is <laughs> Well, Well, gorsh biz, if you're friends of you that much, surely everything will work out okay. 12 more radiant damage. Oh my god, it's got like one health. Mm. Rip. Okay. Anything else, Strix? Oh my god. Likes to start as a kid already. Biz. Oh boy. Okay. So, now, I prior to now, I have given Brukar my spell storing item. Yeah, and yeah. and I filled it with cure wounds. This is going to be important. Can I move to this square or this square? Yes. Okay. Hey, how do y'all feel about uh, in any way the size of oh. bigger bigger than this? Oh, that's a uh, map. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? Listen, the water's red enough. We don't need to make a big red circle. <laughs> it's fun shit. Do not have the health for whatever you're about to pull. You do not. Just, you can just punch the shark and it'd be done. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Pat the shark on the head. It deserves a nap. <laughs> I really should, because when you Sahag and get their turn again, they're gonna fuck us up. I have what? that, but I cannot deal with friendly fucking fire. It's okay. It won't be that bad. It's just 8d6 lightning damage. Lordy. Ah! I'm gonna, I'm gonna no. cast lightning bolt oh, to boy, here we go. kill all these dudes. Everybody make a dex save. <laughs> I'm so glad I have evasion. Everybody uh, make a dex save. By the way, yeah, roll, yeah. roll the damage for me real quick, Biz. <laughs> Do I have to, wait, hold on. Uh deck stays affected underwater? Yeah. Oh, no. Is yeah. it is, oh, it, is it at a uh, disadvantage or something? Concentration spell up right now. Don't worry about it. I can fix it later. Uh does lightning damage Oh wait, no, in these second situations deck saves automatically fail. Yeah, um, Right. Yeah, Excuse never mind. Me? Everybody's deck safe. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. my nat twenty. It's no. it's there in the text. Wait, even if I have a swim speed. Yes. Yeah, because we're underwater. Thunder the and lightning, lightning damage is... affect all creatures. Dex saves automatically fail. The Do lightning we... is gonna saturate the area. Eight d six. That's only twenty two. That's okay. It's on the low uh, end. Okay. With with evasion, do uh, do Valko and Vukar at least take half? Yeah, we'll take we'll take half. Cool. That's definitely. Okay, I am below half because of your antics, motherfucker. Um. Oh my God. Honestly, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Gonna I think be. we were hyped up to be way, way, like way worse. This rolled pretty poorly on it. I did. Don't worry. Okay, so that's that 11. shark is just. <laughs> You're so fucking okay. Cool. Um. Let's see. Twenty-two damage. Oh. I have to wait for that. Ah! Uh, Evelyn. Cool. Enhance ability is off of you. I lost concentration. I'm a war caster. N no, I lost concentration on oh. your enhance ability. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right, shit. Oh my god. Hi, my husband chunked my health. <laughs> Why is the giant shark rolling concentration? Because it's an undead giant shark. Oh lordy! Oh. Of course. It's okay. Naturally. It has oh. undead fortitude. 
Oh, oh god damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> you we can thank Sylvia TV for this monster today. Good. Good thing it's stunned. Oh boy. <laughs> Good thing we have more. Okay. Uh, AT has has evasion, so they only take half. Uh, I will command AT to try and finish off the, the shark. Okay. I love that for this shark, though. Yep. <laughs> right, that's expected. Oh boy, shark time. Shark how is many, stunned. How many Sahagin did that kill? Um, like four, four or five? Okay, add five four. souls. Wait, you asked for a frenzy of sharks? No, oh, wanna, give no, him a no, whole... I wanna... Okay, I didn't see the last message, Sylvia. Your first message was big ol' undead shark with the cat face emoji after it. Yeah, I want to collect the souls of the Sahakin, by the way. Absolutely. Add five. Sweet. <laughs> so that's why you wanted to do that. Okay. Yes, but also declare the horde. Uh-huh. Sure. Um, I mean, it was pretty obvious what you were doing blowing up the entire area. <laughs> so, I, can want two, I can want two things. <laughs> by the way, fun fact for all my for all my uh, DMs. As you may have noticed, not all of those Sahagin died. Um, even though some of them had the exact had uh, full health bars, some of them died and some didn't. So I've got a particular um, uh, thing, uh, a extension for Roll Twenty called VTTES. And it has a fun little feature. Uh, when you give NPCs, like, the formula for their health, you can right-click on their token and have it roll for their hit die. You can also select a group of tokens and have it roll different, or like, roll individually for each token so that they have unique health. Remember those billion hidden messages? <laughs> Uh, that was me rolling uh, health for this entire dungeon. I, th I saw like one in passing before it immediately became like hidden. A uh, hidden, but it's like very like blanking and myth type hidden. So yeah, the creatures in this dungeon all have unique health. Uh, anyway, the, cre the the shark is still stunned. Ricard, it's your turn. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna have to use the my oh so handy. Uh, Cut an action, bonus action to dash because I can't make it up to the shark with uh, with a standard movement underwater. So I'll use the bonus action, cut an action to dash. So because just uh, yeah, because I yeah, I have normal land speed of fifty, so it's mm -hmm. half twenty five. So I get up here twenty five and then cut an action, just move the rest of the way just to get up and close and close with the shark. Okay. Yeah. Because I can't really get out on any other way, so I kind of have to just be here. Valko's blocking this way, Biz is up here, the shark's blocking everywhere else. <laughs> so, and I'm just gonna do a good old bonk as best I can. And, and it's at disadvantage because it's uh, with the unarmed strike, so... Yep. Alrighty, so here's attack one, let's see what happens. 24. Yeah, that hits. Alright, let's see, uh... Uh, let's see how much. I'm not gonna do any elemental thing. Just a standard hit. Uh, okay. Fourteen. It is still up. Okay, extra attack. Let's go. Uh, and I'm back again at disadvantage. Let's see if this does anything. Nineteen. All right. Thirteen. And Yay. it goes down. <laughs> yeah, right. let's go. Pop, pop. No. That is a pretty good con score. <laughs> You don't say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, damn, you only the room. Nice. By the way, I'm deleting all of the dead creature tokens because my computer, my roll 20 is choking. Mm -hmm. It's every on a really open space. Every time um, you put in a token that has um, a bar of some sort, God, roll 20 chunks them, like, really quickly. And even though you can't see them, they all have health bars. Anyway, yeah, that's all turn, I can buddy. do. That's all I can do. Yeah, I use the bonus action. I use my move action, the bonus action, and the two attacks. Alrighty, Damon. And now I'm blocking the way. Fuck. Hey yo, something hurt. <laughs> what? 
Uh, I said it's your turn. Hey, yo, something hurt because it happened up there where you didn't, you couldn't see what happened. All you know is that yeah. the water got spicy. <laughs> that was so interesting for sure. Um, it's as far as I can move. Um, yeah, sorry if I'm blocking your way. I should have probably you directed my movement afterwards. No, you can move through friendly tokens. Oh, okay. I keep forgetting so that. Five. 10, 15, and then 20 uh, to dash. That's my action. So, uh, I will toss an inspiration to Aveline uh, as my bonus action and end my turn. Alrighty. Volko, it's your turn, Argion. Yay! I'm gonna move here, and I'm going to attack this what? fella right under Aveline. Absolutely. Wait, you can it's just move a... to these things? What's up? You can just move to this? No, you would have to oh, right. go in a path okay. like this, but it still takes the same amount of movement. Okay. And you were, technically, you were right to call me on that, what? Oh, I said you were right to call me on that though, because I didn't, I didn't think about it. But uh, technically, you can't because you're underwater. So everybody okay. has a fly speed equal to their shitty movement speed. <laughs> technically. Hooray! Um, to be a normal then. Yep. Uh, I crit. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> it's it's dead. It's, it's Excellent. It's dead. Uh, I am now going to attack the one to uh, right here, the left yes. of me. Twenty one. Uh, roll it at a disadvantage. Uh, yes, you're right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's... 21. <laughs> yeah, roll damage. I'm pretty sure it's dead, but roll damage. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> um. So then... These guys are all looking real hurt, by the way, after that lightning. Oh, I have enough movement to come over here. Cool. I'm gonna flurry of blows this fella. Yay. Bonk. Absolutely. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> oh, I should have just extra attacked instead of flurry of blows. Wasn't that last one extra attack though? No, because I used flurry of blows, so I ate my key point. No, but like you didn't use extra attack on the one to your left. No, no. if I use an attack on my action, I get one attack on my bonus action if I want to do that. Oh, okay. Um, and instead I decided to spend a key point to do it, because I'm smart. Yeah, monks uh, can make a bonus action attack, or, like, without, um, j just as, like, a normal attack, or if you want to make two, it's flurry of blows. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just eat my key point, that's fine. I didn't think ahead. Anyway, that's all. That's all. Alrighty, and Aveline. Um, you know... How, what, can I banana check him? How, how's he looking? Sure, but yeah. Make banana me, uh, check? Yeah, let's see how many bananas he's got. Make me a medicine check. Oh, finally. Medicine's actually useful. <laughs> hey, he's got, like, <laughs> no bananas left. You don't know exactly how many, but he's, like, spitting up blood, and it's, like, a bunch of burns on him. It's not a hard DC. Aveline is going to smirk and whip out her rapier and stab him. Absolutely. Make me that attack roll. This is, oh no, you have a swim speed. Never mind. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, he had no bananas. Yeah, he had one hit point. <laughs> Aveline, are you all right? Uh, hey guys, sorry about that. Bismuth, if oh. you ever pull shit like that again, I swear to the gods, you will fall Humans. out of the sky just like the sun. Okay, I thought that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, honestly. And then I will shove my rapier directly through one of your eyeballs. Uh. Jeez. 
But also, that was the coolest shit I've ever seen, so good. Looks like a so sprite, but with aqua colors. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, Biz, it seems as though you've really ruffled my coat this time. I do what? say. <laughs> I didn't give it a minute, so, you know what I said? I was uh, messing around with my capacitors. That was an accident. <laughs> what was that? I want to make an insight check. I'm insight yeah. checking that. Uh, yeah, me too. I absolutely don't trust Biz. I'll say that was I'm, an accident. I am a flash of geniusing this. <laughs> That's yeah. That's yeah that's really? You know what? I will also inside check. What the hell? Everyone doing it? Why yeah. I? Fifteen. Never mind. Valco, Actually, he's you know lying I... through his teeth. Actually, you know what? I don't think I should have even been able to make a deception check. check oh, you wait, get hey, to the deception You get to because you determine the DC. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone that rolled above a ten knows I'm lying. Mm. So everybody. Yeah. Well, I thought you were flash geniusing that. Uh, I rolled, I've got a 16, but that's just so out of character for Biz. Yeah, anybody that knows him is going to figure that except, shit out. Yeah, except, no, he was lying. Except Akko. <laughs> which I think is weirdly fitting. Everyone but Akko did an inside check. I ate more. <laughs> he just knows. Mm. Yeah. Get that husband inspiration. I'd offer, I'd offer a health, a health potion, but I don't know how well it's gonna work underwater. You can drink. You can also just use a spell sorting item I gave you. It's a hydro flask of cure wounds. Besides, remember you can just smash it on your forehead like a frat, like a frat boy at a party, and you'll heal yourself. Yeah. Never uh, again. Whenever, it could be a mimic. Whenever you open open the spell sorting item, it makes a faint sk -sk -sk sound. I. That's that's promise. what administers the spell. I promise you, I have not recently given. Oh, I am joking. I I know you. I know we don't have any mimics actively. Yeah. Oh, I didn't say you didn't have any active mimics. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. great, excellent. I just said I didn't like... give you one recently. Excellent. We have people here with cure wounds, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, we're fine then. I'll, I'll hold on to the potions then, just in case. So we got we got some spellcasters. They probably can do some first aid better than potions at this point. Why are, why are you staring at me, Akko? Oh, Drex stares at mimics. <laughs> I know. Mimic do it for you. Oh, I may. Oh, I'm sure we won't run into any more mimics. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> hey, I wonder what's over here. Are we saying set up? Or are we just gonna go? Uh, okay. We should probably stay together for the time being. That is fair, okay. After that, I agree. Yeah. Is there like any oh. sort of... Oh, what? sorry. Should we, oh, um, there... up the tunnel? Those are some giant rat corpse. I know it's not part of the map, but like, it's just it's big. Eh, right, hold on. Oh, Fuck, get back here. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> oh my god. Switch to chalice? Alrighty. Aveline is zooming. What the fuck? Well, I guess I'm going after Aveline. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah, no one even here. Uh, Aveline, as you get there. Oh boy. Part of me is gonna take a minute. Oh, fuck. It's a boy. Come across what appears to be. Uh, directed casting. Uh, oh. uh, whoever the fuck get back here. You encounter a patrol of uh, Kuatoa. 
They appear to be walking away from you at the moment. Hi! They all turn back and look at you. What happened to six seconds? I don't you understand. have six seconds. Six seconds. What you in Undercommon? What doing in a cave? Wait, hold on. I know. I know this language. Uh, Biz, <laughs> Biz, can you can you tell them that we're looking for a chest? Uh, can you repeat what you just said in Undercommon? <laughs> I do in cave. Cave. Oh, uh, we find we find fish, fish for you, uh, and shows at you. Make a deception check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I help in any way by like giving like basic signals and shit? If you understood the language that they were speaking in, I would say oh, yes. Oh. Can I very quickly cast? Search team uh, is not working. Comprehend languages. It will not be in time for this check. Okay. I rolled an eight. <laughs> okay, well, can I cast it and then speed and then push Biz out of the way? Just, just, sure, no, but really there's going to be a thing that happens. Okay. So uh, you push 8T forward. It's like, we catch fish for you. Uh, they kind of like... Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, eventually they push the smallest and scrawniest one forward. Um, who is, uh, it was like visibly shaking, walks up to AT and goes to take a bite. Uh, this is like holding AT, uh, like a tea kettle and just sort of like, as you're like holding something in front of you, you just sort of like swamp arms and you sort of like put, put one arm behind you, another arm in front of you. It was like, ah, 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 not quite yet. I need something from you. Eh? Yeah. What? Uh, what, do you, what do you want? I need you to show me. Uh, I need. We're looking for a very big chest. Do you know where it is? Show me it, and you can have this. And I and I'll sort of like like rattle at you, uh, <laughs> holding the hand up and then back behind me. Yeah, you want your chest. They'll kind of look at you, Biz. Can I make another deception check? And one of them begins to swim off. Oh. Oh. I have to make an insight check. Do I think I succeeded? Go ahead and make an insight check. Alright, sweet. That's a 16. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> fucked up. We need to follow him. <laughs> And the other three point their spears at you. <laughs> ah, sweet. Ah, uh, cool. We'll open well, this up again. Actually, I'm as it, behind. As it turns out, I'm very bad at lying. Hmm. 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 Oh, God. Oh, the poor thing. Oh, wow. I need to speak God. more languages. Because I... we can't continue to have these uh, awful be diplomacists. I, I agree. <laughs> I should note, this is the ex exact scenario I took under common for. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Okay, Ooh, I uh, think you know that for redeeming another shark. Oh, no. No, man. His name is Lewis and killed his brother. <laughs> no, man. Another shark, but he had a top hat on. His name is Lewis. I am not a shadow lantern. Oh, my, my name, name is Lewis. <laughs> Alrighty. Akko, you're up first. One of those fishmen uh, just swam away very fast, and the others uh, are leveling their spears at you. Akko was also there for the first time Biz tried this routine. It did not work. Mm. 
Alright, Nomad. Lewis is on the map. I have no guarantee that the party will get there, though. Um, I gotta take a quick break. I will be right back. Uh, do with Aveline as you see fit. Alrighty. Hopping invest. <laughs> Alright. Paco, uh, you, uh, coat yourself in this rhyme ice, um, and, uh, you begin dashing forward. Hmm. You don't quite see the fish. Yep, but all three are in difficult terrain that they are. Uh, what just happened? Sorry. Uh, Akko popped Investiture of Ice and is now radiating ice and c difficult terrain around around them. Alright, cool. Anything else in your turn, Akko? Trying to look at something, but ranged attacks uh, at melee or disadvantage. Correct. Also, you spent your action. And you are in chalice form, not archer form. Specifically said you changed to chalice. Well, what kind of action does it take to swap? Oh, it's fr it's a free action? Then... You can at the start of your turn. And you've already done stuff on your turn. Sorry, buddy. Alrighty. Rukar. Okay. And you said I can move through friendly spaces? Yep. Okay, cool. That, I'm gonna need that. Uh, so, let's see. So I have about 25 feet. Yeah, we're just gonna do same setup as last time, where I move move for a full action here, then bonus action. Cut. Uh, oh wait. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the air, that's the difficult terrain. Yep. That's one whole action. Uh. Do I want to do it? Ah, eh, what the hell? I'll do it. Uh, and I'll. And I'll use bonus action. Cut an, I'll use my bonus cut an action to dash, so I can just go five feet right here. And then, as the and then with the attack action, I will use my. I will just use a breath of the dragon. Okay. Okay, and this will be. Uh, let me just remember. Okay, equal to and 
time, uh, time to get the 50 bonus. Yep, yep, yep. All right, uh, so I will choose in a 30-foot line directly north of where I am. So maybe just like 30-foot line. Yeah, just up this way. Up the, you have to hit these two. And it will be of cold damage. They have to, uh, each creature in the area must make a dexterity saving throw against the key save, which is a 13. But it's underwater, so duck save don't really matter here, does it? That's for lightning and thunder damage. Okay. All right, so you have to beat a 13. <clears throat> they both fail. Cool. All right, and let me just see. At 11th level, which I am not an 11th level monk, so this does not apply here. Uh, uh, taking damage of the surgeon type equal to two rolls of your martial art, uh, martial art die on a field. Uh, half as much on a successful one. Okay, so two rolls in the martial arts die, which is uh, martial arts, but not you. 1d6, so it's a 2d6. So they'll take it's small damage, but it's damage. So it's a 2d6. They'll take, oof, uh, four cold damage. Alrighty. Oh, wait, it's cold damage, so roll an extra d6. Ah, oh, cool. D6, so 7 cold damage. Alrighty, the one directly in front of you is not looking good. He's on his last legs. Oh, cool. Uh, the back one's still the, kind of alright. Yeah, and with the wording of Breath of the Dragon, it says when you take the attack action on your turn, you can place one of the one of the attacks with the with the exhalation of Draconic Energy. So I'm going to extra attack, uh, hit hit the one in front of me with a, with a uh, unarmed strike. Yep. Uh, disadvantage, uh, unarmed strike, that's a 23. Yeah, he's dead. Cool. All right, one taken care of. Sweet. Alrighty. Anything else? Nope, that's it. That was my bonus action and my two attacks. Volko! Okay, so I am going to take my movement and my bonus action. I'm going to have to step up the wind so I can move five more feet. Um, I am just so thankful for fucking cutting out because I could just do that without it. And then for my action, uh, I'm going to unarmed strike uh, and also use my draconic strike to turn my unarmed strike into cold damage um, against the, the guy in front of me. I, re I remembered the disadvantage this time, but it's a 21 item. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> Hooray. Okay, so that's... 16 cold. Um, do I and add it? Yep, add another die roll. Uh, uh one more d6, okay. Hey, yo, oh, he's 19. fucking dead. Yay, uh, he's exactly cool. enough. Uh, am I allowed to step in this circle? You are, but it's difficult terrain, so it would cost 10 feet of movement. That is fine. I have 15 left. Yeah, dash. <laughs> Dashing through the it's snow. It's just slushy. No. Okay, okay. So then my second unarmed strike, which will be at normal. 26. Yeah, that hits. Um, yeah, yo, he's fucking dead. Yay. <laughs> and it's 17. <laughs> uh, yeah. Tower, they're not that strong. <laughs> Alrighty. Congratulations, you won. <laughs> oh, they're, still, they're still the one that got away, but that's... We yeah, need to go after him. Dashing away. Oh, okay, there you go. Dashing through the snow. He has a higher swim speed, so... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well... With that, we are approaching the three-hour mark for tonight. Huh? I would like to thank you all so much for coming. Uh, there's still a lot of dungeon to explore, um, but we'll see if, uh, we'll see where the party goes next time. Uh, I have a big, big finale planned that I'm very excited for, and I hope. But this is where we're going to end it for tonight. <laughs> yes, Lewis is, is in the dungeon somewhere. Nomad, I promise you that. Um... You can catch us, uh, The Age of Titans, every other Sunday at 5 p.m. CST, and The Age of Stars, our Starfinder campaign, every Saturday at 4 p.m. CST. 
thank you all again so much for coming, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye